What's up everybody? I'm Adam Jones and today we are back in my garage. Here we are. It looks like a massive shit show here, but we went on vacation for the last five days. I did absolutely nothing dirt bike or work related. So today got home catching up on everything and I've been wide open, but got a short, exciting, cool little video. And I'm actually super psyched to announce a new partnership between me and HJC Helmets. Stoked on this. Uh, these guys jumped on the program this year, so I'm gonna be running their stuff. And um, we're gonna test out a helmet today, and I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a review. So first things first, let's open this son bitch. This is the first piece of non-Fox gear that I've worn since my first year of freestyle motocross, uh, 2002 slash 2003. So yeah, pretty wild, pretty wild. But uh, let's check this out, let's see what we got. This is the HJC i50 motocross helmet all right all right here we go let's see what color i got Ooh, sick uh we got a gloss black one <clears throat> and got a couple hats shoved in here oh no Love a good hat. Stoked on those. Yeah, so we got the i50 here. Let's, uh, first things first, let's adjust the visor to a proper dirt bike rider area, which is up, not down, okay? Look, you go from first time riding to professional, that fast, okay? That's a pro tip you don't wanna forget right there. Never visor down. I don't give a shit if the sun's in your eyes. Deal with it. Anyways, we got the i50 here. Uh, I think it looks sick. This thing is pretty mean looking. Look at that. I'm watching myself in the front camera here just to make sure I got it all in frame. But dude, I would say pretty badass. I like it. Shall we try it on? Oh, wow. Okay. Not even shitting you guys. It feels very good on my head. I feel like I don't have any like loose spots. Like the form is just perfect on my head right now. I actually love it. A little tight, but that's very normal. Very normal for a brand new helmet for them to be a little bit tight at first. Uh, you get a couple rides in them, maybe wash the pads once and then a little looser. Gosh, I actually think this thing is way sick. I am stoked to ride it, ride in it. Let's pack up and get out of here for a little evening sesh. This thing's got all the approvals of all the other major helmet brands that you're used to. Can't even explain how good this thing feels. And to the naysayers, because there's always naysayers out there, to the naysayers who think just because this helmet is affordable makes it bad, well, HJC has been around for, I think, 50 years, and they're one of the longest running helmet manufacturers. So I think if their helmets were crappy, dangerous, and not good, they probably wouldn't still be around. Not only that, they wouldn't have GP riders, Supercross riders, they wouldn't have freestyle riders, every kind of rider out there because they just wouldn't do the trick. So. HJC has, a, they do their own manufacturing, which is a huge deal for being able to keep costs low. And, um, you know, they make an affordable helmet that's freaking awesome. So I'm stoked to, uh, I'm stoked to wear this thing today. You know what? Let's get official. Are we official? Totally. Next up on my new HJC i50, we've got another, what I consider to be a massive benefit of this helmet. But before we get there, Got to do something very important right now. Got to get rid of old white lightning. So, uh, in case you guys haven't noticed, I have this, uh, I've kind of turned my garage or am turning my garage into like trophy room, memory room. So I've got like all my, you know, monster helmets, got all monster rockstar helmets. Uh, Blair stole one of my Rockstar helmets over there. You know, we got trophies up there, medals, more memorabilia. You know, it's a massive work in progress, but 
The strange thing is, is I really want to keep this helmet because to me, this helmet symbolizes a time that I was just basically really down on my luck in freestyle motocross and everything fell apart for me basically. And um, it was the first time I had a non-painted helmet ever in my career. So it's the point it being this guy right here is gonna go somewhere on this memory cool thing wall because I don't know. It still just means something to me. It's a landmark in my career. I went back to a solid helmet after being in uh, energy drink helmets for 17 years, I think. So it's weird, right? But I'm definitely going to keep this one. So next thing we do is we put this guy in here. So here's what I have heard is the bonus of this thing. First off, I'm going to loosen this up a little bit. I actually like these uh, these as well because they're you can do them with your fingers, which most all of them that I've ran the last 20 years, you can't. So I always have to carry a tool to take my visor on and off uh, when I ride. But that being said, look at this visor. Look at this thing. I'm not going to say it's not breakable because it's obviously breakable, but dude, you really don't have to worry about this thing in your gear bag. Um, so to me, that's a massive plus because riding freestyle motocross and traveling for a living, every show, you got to take your visor off. You got to put it back on before the show. I know that sounds like nothing, but when you get to a show, you got a million things to do and not having to deal with a visor before show and after show is something I like. So gear bag is now equipped shit gonna have to change that all right while well, i got you here just remember a little bit of bike maintenance goes a long way so lube your chain Mokoff makes three different kinds we've got the dry chain lube the wet chain lube and the all-weather chain lube i live in the desert so obviously gonna go with the dry chain lube and something i learned only just recently you know the proper way to lube your chain it's this way right here underneath not up here don't do this one do this one learn that from justin brayton just this year he yelled at me he's like who's been lubing your chain and i'm like me and he's like that's why your chain sucks so dry chain lube wet or just go the lazy way all weather mock off products lube that chain keep that thing sounding good whoo bikes all loaded up ready to go. I'm going to go inside and try to get like 30 minutes of chill time because I woke up this morning and I've been completely wide open ever since. So uh, let's see if we can get a little bit of chill, restore some energy before I got to go out and crush a riding sesh. I honestly can't believe I almost forgot this. The most important part. We got to do the famous helmet drop. That's right, this thing has to hit the ground before I ride in it. I'm sorry, HJC, I know it's brand new, it's shiny, but I gotta drop it. It's just one of the things I do. All right, I tried numerous times, but Link and Blair both said it didn't count. So, here goes, here's a real one. Oh my gosh, that hurts my feelings. Worth it though, it's gotta happen. It's back in the gear bag, it's ready to ride. Almost forgot that, can't believe I almost forgot it. That's like a, that's a tradition for me. Has to happen, it's gotta hit the ground before I go ride in it. So, helmet's ready, let's do it. Pit stop on the way to riding to get Doug from my mom's house. She been dog sitting for us. Hi. Doug bud. <laughs> what are you painting? Oh boy, that sounds terrible. Hi, buddy. We are here. Glorious sunset session about to go down. Weather's beautiful. It's got a tailwind. Justin over there shoveling up the dry ass berm. It's an amazing situation we got right now. Oh, dude. My muck off gloves, dude. Almost lost them. That's what happens, you don't know, zip your shit up. Dang, worker guy. Didn't know it's gonna be that kind of session. 
Hey, if you don't mind, there's a couple rocks over there. You can grab those. I also don't like that one weed. Yeah, you need me to go get my weed whacker. <laughs> Dude, look at this place. It's the Sahara Desert over here. Is it, um, you think maybe you want to snap a photo of me holding this helmet before I get my gear on since I'm going to be in fox gear, Kim? This thing's cool. I'm really excited to film some stuff for the little black box. <laughs> Well, you love that. Just, you love an accent. <laughs> I don't really want to turn it off, shall I? Yeah, probably. Go to sleep. Save them batteries. I know, I was kind of worried because we left it in the truck the entire time we were in Utah. Really? Do you have the internal battery or like the voice? No, internal. Yeah, recharge it. Oh, it Ooh, baby. It's pretty cool. Hey, yeah. easy on that thing, man. Put one little crack in it. Busted. Busted. Don't drop it either. It's already been dropped. Dude, it's got a big old scratch in the back. You have to. I don't see it. It's the rules right here. Oh, bummer. Right here. Helps to grab the battery. Oh, yeah. Hey, what? You didn't bring battery down? <laughs> I don't know much about uh, cameras, but it's pretty big. Wait, is it a set to 200? 70 to 200. Ooh, nice. I'd like to upgrade mine one day. No button, don't film me. I'm not, I'm filming Blair. Blair's standing right there. He's got Ice Nine Kill shirt on, he's wearing a straw hat. He looks sick. He does look sick. I look like I have a Biden support hair right now. But <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, are you saying that's a bad thing? You're gonna get me fired from YouTube. All right, well, we're gonna do a couple quick little photos with this helmet so the HJC guys can do a little welcome to the team thing. Here, Blair, you wanna hold this for a sec? Yeah. It's racist. Oh, no, that's a nice. Photo shoot done. It's time to ride in this baby. Got a little bit of warming up to do. I actually haven't practiced in like two and a half weeks up here. I rode just not up here. I-50, HJC I-50 test run. How's it feel in gear? Oh, baby. Actually feels really cozy. impressions I love this thing actually that it's got a it's got a very comfortable fit on your face all the way down to like the very edge of my jaw bones it feels like it feels very full on my face it doesn't have I feel like it has any like missing like light spots so I don't know if that makes sense light spots I think you know what I mean sometimes where there's a spot that the contact isn't great doesn't feel like it has that at all um, Another thing I noticed a lot, like probably the biggest difference that I noticed on this helmet to uh, what I was running, which was the Fox V3s, is the noise is like so much different. It's, it's the complete opposite ends of the spectrum. My Fox helmet was like, it, it didn't restrict any sound. So it sounded like you didn't even have a helmet on, which 
I don't know if I like that better or not, um, but I know that right now it's just different. It's just taking a second to get used to. But it's it's just kind of like that typical uh, kind of the bike's a little more the bike's a little more muffled, right? But it feels like I'm wearing a helmet. It feels like I got something on, whereas my old Fox helmet kind of felt like I wasn't. There was no, there was nothing that was stopping the sound. It was like the same sound with your helmet on as it was off. So I think I'm, I think I like this better. The fact that it's kind of muffled and um, I just have to get used to it because it's definitely a lot different. Uh, okay, HJC I-50 ride day almost complete. Very impressed by this helmet. I feel uh, like the difference in sound isn't really affecting me anymore. It only just took basically the first warm-up session to get used to it. And uh, like I said, it's not a bad thing. It's just different. It's just something that's uh, a lot different. But contour of the helmet fits my face really well. I think it feels really cool, really good. Um, there's no no ex excessive weight issues or anything like that. Like the helmet feels, it feels light. It feels good. I'm stoked on it. So let's get some bangers out there in this thing, right? Oh, comfort. Let me see that thing. Blair, don't move. This is my filmer, Blair. He's 12 years old. He got paid $3 for filming in Provo for me. On film now. That's Link. He wants to be my filmer, but he's a wild man, crazy person, and I don't trust him to hold the camera. So that's Ray Ray. Who knows what kind of stuff would get filmed if Ray Ray was in charge. We would be just living life in the Barbie dream house right now. Can I film? I need, uh, why don't Blair, you get a couple and let Link shoot a couple as well, can I? okay? Mm -hmm. Yes, you can try to. Well, we Guide just, him through it, Blair. Well, you're the uh, you're the teacher here, okay? Will I get paid? I don't know. It depends how good your clips are. One dollar? Not if your clips aren't any good. Okay. Blair got me some really good clips last time. Super fun. Good. Is it super it is fun for you? Good. Yeah, it is super fun. I am small. That's why I go fast. I go fast too. Yeah. Where's that lock that I had? All right, we just uh, did some races with the kids. Nobody had a helmet on but me. I'm kind of a professional, but I'm sure I'll still get yelled at by the internet anyways. But who cares? Oh, that's cool. Who won the race? Do you think? Me, me, me. 
Um, me, 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 Blair. me. Blair did? Well, Raven, don't worry. It wasn't your fault. It was mine. All right. Test day. HJC I-50. It's in the books. Good ride day. Felt pretty good. I actually haven't rode up here in almost three weeks, so uh, felt sharper than I thought I was going to. Kim just realized she was on film and split, and Link's trying everything he can to get on film. Uh, yeah, I think everything went good. It's a little bit of an adjustment with the noise to me, but um, not a big deal. It's just different, that's all. But it was a damn good day. I'm stoked on my i50. The thing is super sick. These helmets are super quality, very comfortable. They have all the uh, safety that all the other helmets have. And the best part about them is they were, they are affordable AF, as the kids say. So take advantage of that. I recommend them. Get yourself one. That's it for today. Thanks for hanging. Say bye. I done good filming. <laughs> Desperate to be on camera. You done good filming. Good job. Mm -hmm.